Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky. I've got a little art journal video for you today. Now, this is a nice, quick and easy one because I'm working in my Use It Up journal. So if you're haven't, if you new to my channel and you haven't watched my videos before, this is an extra art journal where I just slap on extra paint that I have if I'm doing some stenciling or if I'm working on a scrapbook page and I just have extra paint or ink or I'm using a stencil I do another copy in my use it up journal because I'm lazy and because it gives me another background for a later time when I feel like doing an art journal page but I don't always feel like getting messy so the background's already been done I've used a couple of different stencils uh, and some different paints probably dilutions paints Today I'm actually working with a new kit that I have got. I'm part of the Reset Girls design team and this is the Shine Crafty Girl Play Kit and it's got heaps of fun goodies. It's got a billion stickers in it. So I wanted to use some of the, the girls uh, on the sticker sheet there in this art journal page because not I don't always have a place for them in my project life which is why I really like this kit because I can use it for my art journaling as well. So that little pink card there is actually like the about the kit card that comes uh, with the kit. And on the back, it tells you all about, you know, the, the meaning behind the kit and the theme of it. Um, I really like the front for the girl. So I decided to use her. I'm using one of the labels from the kit and I cut off a bit there and I just stuck it down the bottom because why throw out a bit of a perfectly good sticker when it can add a bit of extra texture in the background? I knew I wanted to use this gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Her dress is like a hot pink. It's lovely. But I wanted her to have something to step on so that it didn't look like she was just floating in thin air. So I added one of the labels from the Tiny Word sticker sheet that came in the kit. I'm saying kit a lot in this video. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's try and stop saying the word kit, Adele. What other word can you use though? Collection? things of goodies I don't know another word you can use I'm using some hexagon stickers I'm slightly delirious today as you can tell I need to eat some chocolate ASAP before I do any more voiceovers I'm putting these little hexagon stickers and I've said it if you follow my main channel Inky Quill I was just talking recently about my nervousness over the hexagon shape it's just a shape that I don't know it just I just don't always know how to use it. And I know that sounds silly. It's just a basic shape, but it always stumps me a little bit. Now, this was one of my favorite parts of this whole page. This is the beautiful tissue paper that the kit, <laughs> I have to say the word kit, that the kit's wrapped in. And straight away, I was as excited for the tissue paper as I was to see what was inside the tissue paper. Uh, I have a thing for black and white polka dots and I can never find that tissue paper where I am so all I did was I put a strip of double-sided tape and I'm just concertining concertina folding the tissue paper to make a bit of a ruffle so this ruffle of course I'm an inch too short of tissue paper of course that's that's, that's how it goes though isn't it uh, so I have to cut a little bit extra I think to finish it off yep there's my sticky finger or do I put a sticker on it oh I cheat and I put a sticker on it cheeky but I just thought it was a really cute textury kind of way to pop off the page uh, something a little bit different this little tab is on the sticker sheet and it's actually designed so that you can put it on to the plastic packaging uh, and it's got the name of the kit there so that you can when you put it in your storage in your craft room you'll be able to easily find which kit is which I decided I wanted to use it as a thing as a little tab here but then I realized it was too wide and it would run into the center so that's why I had to cut off a little bit there adding a couple of tiny word stickers and then I'm about to do a scripty font quote so this this was after a weekend where I'd done a lot of uh, videos for my patreon and I'd done a lot of cleaning in my craft room and I just felt like yeah motivated girl boss I can do it so I decided to do a quote that was a bit of a like an uplifting woman uh, kind of quote I don't know what I I don't know what I I think I might have typed in girl boss quote or something like that and I just found a really nice quote that just matched how I felt in that moment so I didn't have to do my own journaling I sometimes feel a little bit not nervous but just a bit of a brick wall when it comes to actually writing how I feel uh, I find that often it's easier for me to communicate how I feel by finding a quote that kind of sums it up 
for me. So I'll get there eventually, but at the moment I'm, I'm really enjoying finding quotes that match how I feel. I'm using my Stadler pigment liner in probably, oh, I'm guessing a 0.3 size. I have the pack. The If you're looking to buy these pens, there is a pack available that's got six of them in it. I just got it from my local art store and it's a really good deal because there's such a difference that goes from 0.05 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 which is really nice and chunky. I'm doing a doodly border here and going around. I really like it when my doodly border breaks around either quotes or um, little embellishments that I have on the page. I just like the, the look of it and I think I'm almost done but something needs to be done behind this flap. So I grab my pen and I doodle some of the circles. I'm sorry if you can hear that noisy truck outside. There's a truck reversing right outside my house and it's being extremely loud. Um, I decided to add another tiny bit of text here. And I know that on the back of this card, it doesn't really have to do what with what my page is about, but it's kind of just the tactile ness of being able to flap open a little flip i love that in my art journals i don't do it enough i really should it's a hide shine shake 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 your hide shine shake your hide shine if you're new to my channel and you don't know what on earth i'm doing um, on my main channel i accidentally called this hardy swap color shine hide shine once accidentally and the name has stuck across both my channels and now it's just called hardy shine and i have a little song about it because you know what if you can't be goofy when you're being creative and enjoying yourself then when can you be goofy thanks so much for watching today guys and here's a bit of a close-up i just i really love this use it up journal guys i can't stress to you enough if you're new to mixed media this is a great way just slap some paint on different pages in a book and come back to it later because oh it's so fun thanks for watching guys and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time bye